Hey, it's Ivan from Bardeen Community with a super exciting use case for today that we're going to save email attachments from your email account into Google Drive folders, either automatically or a selected list of attachments that you want to save. So let's get into it. Huge shout out to Will from Firstmark who gave us this idea and we're going to support him in, in this use case. So uh, what we want to do is we have a bunch of emails, for, for instance, here of receipts, right? And we want to get all the attachments and save them into a Google Drive folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this automation, which we've already built, which basically saves certain emails. It could be one or an entire list of email attachments into a specific Google Drive folder. Let's check it out. Uh, the actions that it has is find emails. That's the first one. And it basically matches what are the emails that I want to find. You can add other filters like labeled or from a certain email or from certain dates. And then it uploads that file, that file attachment into a Google Drive folder. So here you can either create a new folder or specify an existing Google Drive folder. So we're gonna hit done and we're gonna run this automation as a test. And we're gonna run this and we're gonna use the matching expression receipt to get, I don't know, let's get five attachments. As an example, and we're going to create a new Google Drive folder with the name receipts example. Now we're going to run this and this should go over and find emails with this info. Now let's check in. Now let's run this and see an example. So I want to check for this specific email and try to save that attachment into a Google Drive folder. So I'm going to run this and use the email expression of the subject so it can match and find this email. Then I'm going to specify that I only want one item and I'm going to create a new Google Drive folder with the name ticket for train example. Now I'm going to run this and let's see how the automation works. It basically is searching for this email. It got the attachment. It created a new folder and it uploaded that attachment into my Google Drive folder. So it's pretty powerful. And this was a very specific use case. You can also do it for, let's say, uh, if you want to label it for all your support or your product or your specific labels that you want to get the attachments from. So you can add a, a label, a custom label here, or you can also do from a specific range or the emails that contain a specific keyword, for instance, receipt. So this was a very specific example of how you can save a specific list or a specific email into a Google Drive. Now let's see what if we want to do this automatic, right? Um, so in this case, we're going to check out an auto book. We're going to close this and we're going to go to our auto books. Now this auto book is called when email arrives, save attachment into a Google drive folder. So these are the actions that this automation has. So the trigger is when an email is received and you can specify here with your arguments. In this case, I want to specify the email subject, and then I'm going to find the email from that trigger using this exact match. And then I'm going to upload that file to a Google Drive. It's very similar. We are only adding a trigger. So whenever an email is received, we can do the same process as before. And now the way you run this is, let me run it again. I'm going to reset my inputs and I'm going to run it as if it were the first time. So I'm going to automatically save all the attachments from emails that contain the word uh, pitch deck and I'm going to save them into a new folder called pitch decks. Now I'm going to run this out of book and anytime I get an email with the topic of pitch deck, I should, I should save that attachment automatically into a Google drive. So let's see an example. I'm going to write myself an email. 
I'm going to write myself the same email. Okay, now let's see it in an example. I'm going to write myself an email with an attachment and I'm going to send it to my own account. I should get this email and this should automatically save the attachment into a Google Drive folder. Okay, here it is. We can see the results from the audiobook on show activity and we can see how it found the email and then saved it into a new Google Drive called Pitch Text. So this is just perfect. This can be a very useful use case if you're constantly getting new emails with attachments. For instance, if you're a venture capitalist or if you get a lot of uh, sales uh, invoices received. So this can be a very useful use case that you can also modify to your own this can be a very useful use case if you're constantly getting attachments and you want to save those attachments and organize them. So if you're a venture capitalist that is getting constant pitch decks or if you're getting constant receipts and you work in accountment, uh, this can be a use case for you. Remember, you can also customize this very easily by editing your automations and adding new actions like send a Slack message when this finishes so you're notified that a new file was uploaded. So that's it for today's use case. Let's continue automating.